Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me again. I uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, what kind of a philosophy you have about life. Uh, as for me, I want to read a scripture and then just talk with you a minute about it. It's in Psalm 116, 116 and verse begins at verse 12. It says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I shall lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I shall pay my vows to the Lord. Oh, may it be in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. The first part of that passage says, What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits? Do you ever stop and think about all the benefits that you have? life itself, the mind that you have, the, all the things that you can see, the way God has designed you and created you to enjoy life, even your hands, uh, amazing that how God has designed them to be useful, to accomplish many, many things. And I was thinking, could I ever repay God for what he's done for me? Of course, the answer to that is no, I certainly can't. But it is a joy for me to be able to do something to minister to others or to do things that were pleasing to God because he's been so good to me and he's never ever broken a promise to me. It says, uh, it says uh, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. And that used to really trouble me. I used to think, why is it precious to God when I die? I mean, that's, is, is that very nice? And then I thought, Oh, wait a minute. I always look at death from my perspective, you know, that's being a man. And I'm thinking about, I'm not ready to die yet. I got a lot of things I want to do and uh, enjoy in life. In fact, I've been working all my life and I'm thinking, will I ever have time to just stop and relax and enjoy some of the things in, in, in life? And then I got to thinking, you know what? I enjoy life because God gave it to me and I want to use it for his purpose. So when it says, it's precious in God's sight when I die, I thought, why would that be? And then I thought, wait a minute, I'm looking at it from my perspective. This says it's precious in God's sight. The reason is, God loves you. He gave his son for you. He wants you to know him and to experience a restored relationship with him. It's precious to God when someone who believes in him leaves this life because he's the first one gets to see our face after we leave this life and we step into heaven. He gets to see our joy and uh, the, the amazement on our face when we see him face to face. I was thinking that's why it's precious. He looks at it as now you're coming home and now you get to see him and meet him and talk with him face to face here on earth. We talk about God, but we don't see him here, although he reveals himself in the things around us. But when we let get to heaven, he gets to greet us into that place he's prepared for us. We, on the other hand, always think about it as we're losing somebody. Folks, if you're a child of God, you're not ever lost. <laughs> you, you belong to God, and he's not ever going to lose you. Someday you can step into his place that he's prepared for you in heaven. Now... I have a question. Are you ready to meet God face to face? Is God going to be glad to see you or is he going to be sad because you were afraid to trust in him? My friend, I want to encourage you. Trust in God. You'll never regret it. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. He's real. He loves you. He cares for you. He died for you to try to save you from your sin. You can believe in him. He'll change your life and someday You'll get to see him face to face. Oh, trust him now while you still have time. You know, I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.